Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be covering how to make this really cool pixelated look in Blender. This is basically a shading technique using some simple nodes. Um, you guys can, if you guys just need the nodes, here are the nodes right here. Um, and if you want, I'm going to go over them right now. Um, basically, the way that this works is you take any image or video, you plug it into your image socket right here. We're using Image as Planes add-on, which is built into Blender. And then if I scroll back here, you guys will notice that when I press play, we have this awesome pixelated effect, super simple to create, and it works with any image or video. So this is like really, really simple to create. Let me just swap this out real quick so I can show you guys an example here. Um, let's just go ahead and take the Blender logo. And as you guys can see, we're creating this awesome kind of pixelated screen look, and it's fully customizable with this value node here. So we can make it less pixelated or more pixelated. I'm um, sorry, this is technically more pixelated and this would be less pixelated. So it's really easy to just take any image you guys want and throw this effect on there. I'll do one more example and then we'll go over how the nodes work. Um, let's see, let's try this image of, uh, let's see, oh, this one's cool. This one will look interesting. So this one's really cool because if you turn this value up, you'll notice that this is what the image looks like. And then as you turn this value down, it becomes more and more pixelated. Um, and this is just a really fun way to kind of like take an image and make it look pixelated. Or if you have a 3D animation, you can then make that look pixelated in here. And then you can set up your camera to be on like this side view here. So let's go ahead and hop right into the nodes. I'm actually gonna open up an entirely new instance of Blender and go over each one of these nodes here. Let's go ahead and open up a new instance of Blender. Wait for that to load. It should, it'll should. it take a quick second, and then I'm going to throw the other blender on this other screen here. Perfect. All right, guys. So with our new uh, blender window open, let's go ahead and delete the default cube. Delete the light. And I'm going to just save my project right here as something random. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and add an image. Image as planes. Okay. And I'm just going to locate any image I want to. This is my random image folder. Let's go ahead and take this Google logo right here. As you can see, we're not going to see anything just yet because we're in solid mode. If we go to material preview, we will see our logo. Now we're in Eevee right now. This works in Eevee and cycles. So I'm going to go ahead and head over to the shading tab here. I'm um, using the period key. I'm just going to kind of zoom in on my image as planes here. And as you can see, these are the default nodes that were given. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out a bit so we can actually take a look at our node area here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this principal BSDF. I'm going to add in an emission shader and I'm going to plug my color into the color and the emission into the surface. And now as you guys can see, nothing's really changed. But if we go over to cycles here, sorry, not workbench, oh God, uh, cycles, and we just add in a plane underneath of this, you'll see that it's basically like a TV screen. Now I went over this simple setup in uh, one of my earlier tutorials, but now let's go ahead and add this pixelated look here. So the very first thing we're going to add in here is a Voronoi texture. And we're gonna plug that right into, we're gonna plug the, let's see what I have, the position into the vector. And already, as you can see, we're already getting this like pixelated look. Um, turn down the random value to zero. And then we're just gonna go ahead and turn up the scale. Now already, just like that, we have a pixelated look but we're gonna take it a step further and we're actually going to duplicate the Voronoi texture here. We're gonna add in a mix right here and then we're gonna change float to color and the mix type is going to be multiply, which is right, where is multiply? Here it is. Uh, so we're gonna do multiply here and then what we're gonna do is we're actually going to add a value node over here. We're gonna plug that into the scale for both of these and we're gonna turn this value node up to like 20 or so. And this value node is gonna allow us to control both the, um, the size of the pixelation and everything in between. Go ahead and add in a color ramp here, guys. And then we're gonna plug in our distance into the FAC and then our color is going to go into the bottom slot of the multiply. And then this color is gonna go into the top slot here. And then our result is gonna go over to the emission. And as you can see, we have these very faint lines. Let me go ahead and turn up this value so you can see. Now our color ramp is ultimately gonna determine wh what these lines look like. Um, and make sure guys that you you're turning this random value down to zero. And then instead of Euclidean for this, um, this dropdown right here, I'm sorry, instead of F1, we're gonna do distance to edge. 
And then as you guys can see, if we adjust this color ramp, we now have this line work here. So this color ramp is ultimately gonna determine what that looks like. Um, and you guys can adjust that as you need. You can see that you can kind of make it thicker or, or thinner, depending on where you slide these. I think that looks pretty good, so we'll stay with that. And then again, as you adjust this value, it's going to increase or decrease the amount of pixelation. So this is pretty much the node setup that I have right here. I'm just going to double check it. Yep. You guys can add mapping, but you don't need to. And that is pretty much it. So as you guys can see, when I adjust this value here, we can make it more or less pixelated. So this is just a really, really fun effect to kind of look at in Blender. And again, you can swap your image out. Now be careful when you do swap your image out because um, if your image is not the same size as this one, so if it's not like a square or rectangular image, it's actually going to become distorted. And I'm going to show you an example real quick. So if I go ahead and open up a new image, let's say this lava image, which is much longer, and then I turn this value up, you'll notice that it's slightly distorted. But again, if that's what you're going for, that's fine. Just keep in mind that you're going to have to copy these nodes over onto the next plane, um, depending on, on the, the look that you're going for. Now remember, you don't have to have these lines in the middle here, but you can choose to do that. Again, that is with this color ramp that you're going to get those lines from. Um, and I think this looks awesome. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. And again, with an image, it works, and it also works with videos. So let me go ahead and find a video of mine that we can go ahead and test on this. How about, you know which video actually looked really cool is this even distribution one. Um, so the, as you guys remember, the even distribution one was where all of the different spheres dropped. Now you see if you press play, we go over to our dope sheet over here. If you press play and you look at the timeline, nothing's happening. That's because you need to adjust this value right here, this frame value. You want to just go ahead and bump that up to however many frames your video is. And then if I play this back, you'll notice that now we have this pixelated version of our video. And again, you can adjust this value as needed. You can make it more or less pixelated. And I actually think less or more pixelated looks really cool. Like this is an interesting little effect here. And then one more last thing, guys, your emission strength, which is one. You can change that to whatever you like. I think five is a pretty good value. Um, and now let's say you're ready to like get this all rendered out. First of all, save your project. Um, go ahead to your camera here. I'm going to go back to my layout tab. Now our camera is like up here in the corner. I'm going to go to my top down view and I am going to move it. And I move it down and I'm just gonna reset everything to zero and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it up on the 90 degree axis on the X and then 90 on the um, on the Z bring it back on the X go ahead and snap to your camera here and then I'm just gonna make this like 1080 by 1080 and I'm gonna go ahead and get really 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 close to my image here and that should be good and then I'm gonna go ahead and narrow in on my view and now as you guys can see when we play this back we have a perfectly aligned with the camera well almost perfectly aligned uh, view here now what's great about this pixelated animation is you should be able to get away with very low sample count so I'm gonna go ahead and give this literally 10 samples uh, we'll do optics denoising and let's just go ahead and render this and just see what happens and it just rendered in less than a second and it looks fine uh, now of course if you really really zoom in you'll notice how pixelated it is and that is because of the dimensions itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and bump this up to 200%. So it's gonna be twice the size. Again, we're rendering in like two or three seconds and now we have a higher quality image. What's great about this is you can go as high quality as you want and still maintain this, um, this really, really interesting effect. So yeah, that is pretty much it guys. That is how you would uh, go about doing something like this. Again, playing this back, it looks really, really, really cool. Um, it's just awesome. Look at, look at that last sphere that's falling right here. It just looks really cool. So there's a lot of cool things you could use this for. Um, again, it works with any video or image. It's basically just splitting it up with a Voronoi texture and turning it into a pixelated animation. Um, it's just really cool. Like if someone asks you, hey, can I have a pixelated animation? Well, first you make the regular animation and then you import it into here and you have this. And I just think it looks cool. Imagine if you just had a nice 3D object rotating and you went ahead and uh, did this effect with it. Let me go ahead and just try a couple more things here. Let's swap this out for a different video and see what kind of results we can get. Ooh, how about this plasma shader? Whoa. Now again, don't forget to adjust your frames or it's not gonna work. That's our plasma shader. Maybe a little bit less pixelated would look cool. 
And there you go. You see how it's working with pretty much any video that we throw at it. That's awesome. Let's try a couple more just for fun. Uh, let's see. We have, oh, we have some fluid simulations that might look really cool. Let's try, let's try this one here. Let's go ahead and bump that value a little bit down and really get a nice pixelated feel to this. So we have the ball dropping into our liquid and that looks really, really cool. So again, you guys can use literally any video you want. I'm just trying to show you a quick example on kind of how you accomplish this effect. Um, <laughs> we could do a video of my face. Let's see, let's, let's try a video of me. I'm just gonna do my funny video here. Bump up the frame count. And as you guys can see, it's my face being pixelated here. It's really interesting because you guys could really do some really cool stuff with this. Um, and it takes almost no time at all to render this. Um, like if I render this frame right now, it took two seconds. What was that? Okay, it took three seconds, but that's nothing. And I'm doing um, I'm doing ten samples. I bet you I could do one. I, I bet you I could do one sample and it would look fine. Let's see. One sample. That was one sample, guys. We're talking sub two seconds here. One sample, and you could turn your light paths down as well. Um, I mean, guys, this this is just it's just stupid simple to do. So. Um, Go ahead, get out there, set up these nodes. Again, here's the nodes right here. Let me just make these full screen so you guys can see this. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video. Please feel free to check me out on Patreon, check me out on Discord. Uh, I've got the Instagram, of course, guys, this YouTube channel. I do have a TikTok channel as well. Um, definitely check all that stuff out. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and I will see you in the next one.